Okay, hi, it's time for a tutorial on how to set up your timer for speedrunning in Spiral Knight. So I'm gonna show how I do it and any questions you can direct to the Discord servers which links I will provide in the description. So I'm gonna start with showing the programs that I'm using. One of them is OBS which you see right now. Then there's two more. Live split, which I'm gonna bring up right here. The other one is auto split. Both of these download to them. I will provide links in the description. And there we are. We have the timer itself. And this program is only to avoid you having to click a button every time you want to split. So splits are like your whole run that you want to time divided into segments so that you can compare to other times you ran or other people that ran the same thing to see how you are while you're running. So you can mess around with the settings here. It's kind of easy. Just edit splits and edit layout and settings to have all of these different things show. You can customize it like a lot. And now for the auto split thing. You can copy all of my settings here. I need to load my settings first. There. Now you want to have this program scan your game while you play to compare to a specific image, one which I will also provide in the description. So you can't scan the direct gameplay window, you need to have another window which shows the gameplay. I know it's stupid. So let me just open up a window from Spy on Nights. Just have it in the background, don't tab it down and select window, click on that one. So we capture from this and compare with this picture. So it's just a plain picture with the price wheel. So every time the price wheel shows on your screen, it will use the input, same input there as there, to do a split. So you just place it in this folder. I will show you how it works. I'll open a short level. Oh my god, I actually got a short level. So I'll start the timer, and you see now it's comparing here, and not using any hands, boom, splits. 